Best Things to See in London, a Locals Guide Top 15. Being one of the world's historic and most visited cities in the world, London is a traveler's dream. The city has the best sights and experiences while keeping much of its history. It's no wonder why the city continues to welcome 27 million tourists every year. Be prepared to be in awe of London's beauty because, in today's video, we will be talking about 15 of the best things you have to see in London through a local's guide of the city. Make sure to subscribe to Tour View if you haven't already. Stay tuned as we explore the city like the locals. 1. Buckingham Palace Your London trip wouldn't be complete without seeing a glimpse of England's royalty and what better way to have this than by visiting the King's official residence? Yep, first on our list is Buckingham Palace, the iconic home of the royal family since 1837. It had been the official residence of the late Queen Elizabeth II for her whole reign of 70 years, and it looks like the palace will continue to be the new monarch's seat of power. The residence is one of Europe's most visited places and you can actually go inside some areas of the palace. As you may have seen recently, Buckingham Palace was flocked by many people upon the death of the Queen with flowers placed by the palace gates. It has a total of 775 rooms with an interior that speaks of royal opulence. It's also known for its traditional changing of the guard, a ceremony that takes place hourly on certain dates of the week. Make sure to see this for yourself. 2. London Eye If you want to see the beautiful London skyline, the London Eye is the perfect site for you to visit. Originally built to honor the turn of the millennium in 2000, the huge observation wheel offers a 360-degree view of the city. The wheel was only supposed to open for five years, but it has quickly proven to be a big attraction for both locals and tourists. Throughout the year, the wheel is decorated with a bunch of lights. This is especially true for New Year's when it would be used as a centerpiece for fireworks. Hop onto a flight on one of these capsules and enjoy an amazing view of London from above. 3. Hyde Park London also has some of the best greenery in the country, one of which is Hyde Park in central London. With around 142 hectares of green grounds, the park is easily the biggest in the city. Originally used as the hunting ground for the royal family, it is also London's oldest park. If you want to enjoy the sun and take in the cool breeze, Hyde Park offers the best place to do so. You can basically choose any spot within the park. You can even sunbathe at Serpentine Lake. Make sure to check the sites within the park like the Rose Garden and Princess Diana's Memorial Fountain. If you're lucky, you must just be in time to see a concert or even in the park. 4. Tower of London Another must-visit in London is the historic Tower of London the famous place where three queens of England were executed. Because of its history, it's also known to be the Tower of Horror. Aside from the three queens, many other monarchs and noblemen were also tortured and executed here. The entire place is a fortress that has been known to survive the test of time. Moving past its dark history, the tower now is where the famous crown jewels are housed. You wouldn't want to miss out on seeing this amazing collection. Five. St. Paul's Cathedral St. Paul's Cathedral is London's version of St. Peter's Basilica in Rome. In fact, it is the second largest cathedral in the entire world. Words are definitely not enough to describe the size of the place. The historic cathedral has been renovated quite a few times already. It used to be a Greek temple in earlier times. It has also been burnt down by the Great Fire of London in 1666. The cathedral we now see today was designed by Christopher Wren and has been the venue for England's important events like Churchill's funeral and Prince Charles' wedding to Princess Diana. Inside are spectacular frescoes and intricate designs. Marvel at the cathedral's majestic dome which is one of the most stunning pieces in terms of architecture. You can even climb up the dome for a more complete experience. 6. British Museum with a collection of over 8 million historic objects, the British Museum is one of the most visited museums in the world. In 1758, it opened to become the first free national museum and to this day, it remains to be free to the public. You will find here the famous Rosetta Stone and the Parthenon sculptures, among many other artifacts. 
If you're into history, the museum is a must visit for you. 7. Tower Bridge A symbol of London, Tower Bridge is one of the city's most famous landmarks. Inaugurated in 1894, the bridge has a Victorian style and two towers which makes it especially beautiful today. The bridge rises above the Thames River and is lifted 800 times a year. There is also the Tower Bridge exhibition where you can learn all about the bridge's history. As a tip, it's best to book tickets in advance so you won't deal with the hassle of lining up. 8. Westminster Abbey Originally built by the Benedictine monks in 1960 AD, Westminster Abbey is another historic building in London. The Abbey is an architectural wonder with its early English Gothic design, making it one of England's most beautiful religious places. What makes the Abbey more iconic is that it is where British monarchs are crowned. Yup, the late Queen Elizabeth II was crowned here. A year from now, the new monarch, King Charles III, will also have his coronation here. Aside from being a coronation site, it is also home to various burials and tombs of royalty and prominent people in history, including Elizabeth I, Richard II, and Geoffrey Chaucer. 9. Houses of Parliament Also known as Westminster Palace, the Houses of Parliament is where the House of Commons and the House of Lords meet to conduct their business. The historic building is neo-Gothic in style, making it easily recognizable to tourists. Here, you will also see the iconic Big Ben, another key piece in London scenery. Make sure to book your tickets ahead of time since it can get really busy here and it's only open to the public every Saturday. So, it's best to just have tickets booked online. 10. Tate Modern If you're looking for a modern feel, you could check out the Tate Modern, a national gallery that features modern and contemporary art. Since its opening in 2000, the gallery has housed the best finds when it comes to modern art, including the works of Dali and Warhol. You can also find here unique installations that will surely amaze you. Oh, the gallery is also open to the public for free. Make sure to pay a visit because you wouldn't want to miss out on seeing a large collection of modern art in one place. 11. National History Museum If you are traveling with kids, you might want to check out London's National History Museum. It's a perfect place to satisfy a kid's curiosity. Don't worry because even adults will enjoy the museum. It houses several collections and displays about the Earth's history across thousands of years. This includes dinosaur fossils, life-size models of many animals, and a huge blue whale skeleton. Like the other museums and galleries in London, the National History Museum is free to visit. 12. Trafalgar Square Another site you can miss while in London is Trafalgar Square. It's one of London's most visited squares as it is right at the center of everything. The iconic square is only a few walks away from other notable landmarks, shops, and restaurants. Here, you can also find Nelson's Column which is a tribute to Admiral Nelson who bravely fought against the French during the Battle of Trafalgar. The square is also home to statues of George Washington and Charles I. During the holidays, the square becomes a vibrant place where both locals and tourists marvel at the Christmas tree in the center. 13. Top of the Shard If you want to enjoy a 360-degree view of London while enjoying a drink, you might want to head over to the Shard. At the top, on its 68th, 69th, and 72nd floors, you can enjoy the most beautiful view of the city for up to 40 miles. There's no better place to have a glass of wine than here. There's even an open-air sky deck where you can take in both the view and the breeze of the city. Make sure to book your tickets to the place ahead of time. You'll need one to get in. 14. Greenwich, Cuddy's Ark Regarded as the fastest ship in the late 18th century, Cuddy's Ark has sailed much of the world. With a primary mission to bring tea from China to England, the ship was one of the country's tea clippers. Now, the ship comfortably sits in Greenwich and remains to be a popular destination for both tea lovers and tourists. It has undergone conservation in 2007, which took about five years. Aside from marveling at the ship's beauty and history, you can enjoy a cup of tea at a Cadizar Cafe nearby. 15. Piccadilly Circus A perfect place to experience London's modernity is Piccadilly Circus, one of London's most visited public squares. 
At night, the square is lit up by hundreds of lights and LED screens. It is London's most colorful and buzzing place at night. You can enjoy lots of partying here. If you want to keep low, you can also try out the cafes and restaurants nearby. You can also watch a movie here or go shopping. Whatever activity you choose, Piccadilly Circus is sure to give you lots of fun. In addition to this exclusive local guide of London, we'll be sharing a bonus tip for a complete experience of the city. We have Hampton Court Palace, another beautiful palace in London. Given to King Henry VIII, the palace would, later on, become one of his favorite residences. He ordered its renovation to have more room for his wives, family, and staff. Today, the palace is a must-visit among tourists. It features a beautiful garden with an iconic maze and a royal tennis court. It also has a grapevine. Like many royal castles, it boasts of housing a fine collection of art, all of which you can easily see by booking tickets online. From the iconic Buckingham Palace to the trendy and busy streets of London, the city is the perfect mix of British history and modernity, one that you should definitely see and explore for yourself. Which of these places are you most excited about? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click the like button. Also, subscribe to Tour View if you haven't already. You may also check out our other travel videos for more beautiful cities to explore. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.